Fly higher and higher. The wings of love come flying over me, while my heart is calling out for you. Oh my gosh! I'm recording. No, just not seeing Alice. Ah, uh, okay. Room Factory Three. And that was Raven's voice that said Room Factory Three. Anyway, welcome back. Room Factory slash Harvest Moon fans for another episode of Room Factory 3. After that embarrassing intro, we're just gonna continue the game and stuff. I'm ready to and go. you saw it there, that was Mika. Mika. Ah. Oh, apparently they disappeared after I saved. Anyway, yeah, they went down. <laughs> they, oh, Shar says after you, but no, they went down first. Durr, okay. Wow, there are two huge fields down here. And the spring theme of the game. Wow, that's like a mess. Ah, same items from the past two Revenger games. Awesome. Of course, there'll always be new ones. These are the only fields in town. Cox could only grow here, under the Sharns tree. Oh, so you can't really grow anywhere else. Only under this tree, huh? Yes, the fields are a little overgrown, but you can consider cleaning them up as part of your rent. Oh, so it's not for free. Darn it. <laughs> uh, it looks like that's gonna take a while. Probably, but you have plenty of time now, right? Yeah, because you have nothing else to do. Here's a couple of housewarming gifts for you. Receive rusty hoe and old water pot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks. Both of those items should come in handy. Also, since we're here, why don't you try telling the field some? Sure. Oh my gosh! Crazy music. Eek! It's a monster! Get back, you two! Whoa, what? What? I don't fight it? What? This monster looks extremely hostile. I have no choice but to defeat it. Char, do you have any weapons? Use your hoe as a weapon. Please press B to swing the hoe. Please defeat that orc. Leave it to me. Die. Or, no, actually, these kind of games, it never dies. Pain. While I'm at it, I'll just till the land. <sighs> that hurt me. Okay. <laughs> okay, all taken care of. That was incredible. I know he didn't have a choice, but I still feel bad for the monster. But it should be back at the Forest of Beginnings now. Yeah, I feel bad too. But what's this Forest of Beginnings you're talking about? Oh! Well, I've only read about it in books, so I don't know the full details. But it's supposed to be a world where only monsters live. So when you defeat a monster, they return to the Forest of Beginnings? Yes, yeah, so the tools and weapons we use are imbued with magic. The magic allows us to send the monsters back to the Forest of Beginnings unharmed. So in Roof Factory games, you don't actually kill, you just send the monsters back to the forest beginnings. <sighs> Is that right? Oh my gosh, not again, what the heck? Oh no, more monsters? And this time there's two? Sure, go somewhere safe. Okay. Where did Raven go? Who's this dude? Here, use this. Okay, uh, you have a choice between the short sword, the long sword, the spear, hammer, axe, and staff, and the dual blades. Uh, this game's a bit different than the other games because there's an addition of the dual blades, which are, um, two blades. Uh, you can, like, choose one, but they can, you can cho choose one to see them all. Short sword. Also, be easy to use short sword, and not one else. Let me just check each and every one of them because I'm bored. I'll take the heavy long sword. No, I'm not else. I'm bored. Okay, a spear. I'll take the spear so I can attack from a distance. Hammer. I'll take the hammer so I can knock them out quickly. So... Yeah. I'll take this axe. It's slow, but it does a lot of damage. I'll take the magical staff. I'll take the deal base so I can attack with it, but my defense will be lower, though. Okay, uh, what I suggest here, this doesn't really matter which one you get, I think. In the end, you'll keep the, uh, weapon, but you can set, ship it, and, uh, the short sword is the cheapest. You can buy it from the shop, and you can just 
buy net if you choose anything besides a short sword, you can buy you can sell the the item and then buy a short sword later. So uh I'm just gonna use eh. Okay, I'm a kind of a short sword kind of girl. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Cause I like balance. Catch That is dangerous throwing a sword at me. Press B repeatedly to change attack. Gotcha. Uh, the other one's still alive. Level up. Pretty. Oh, that's it. Like, your sword can, like, or weapon can, like, cut <laughs> the weeds and the, the stuff. What's your name? Michael. Thanks a lot. Thank you for the weapon. Who are you? I'm Gaius. You're pretty strong. Thanks. Hey, you should thank Raven. She came to get me when she saw the monsters. Oh, so that's where she went. Thanks. Oh, is that right? Thank you, Raven. And she walks away. Hmm. Um, did I do something wrong? Don't worry about it. That's just the way Raven is. Anyway, I'm going to head back to work. I work at a weapon shop in town. Feel free to stop by. See you later, then. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Gaius. Are you hurt all at all, my cop? I'm doing fine. No, I'm fine. Well, I can't believe those monsters attacked all of a sudden. Does that happen a lot around here? No, quite the opposite, in fact. The monsters around here are mostly gentle. But lately, I've heard rumors of groups of violent monsters attacking people. Maybe there's a connection. By the way, you're quite strong, my cop. You think so? <laughs> he blushes. <laughs> Yes, I was surprised, actually. Those monsters look pretty strong. Well... Okay, this is... If you say, yes, they were strong... Okay, if you say, actually say they were pretty weak, actually, the difficulty of the game will change to hard. So, I suggest not doing that in your first playthrough. I'll just say, yes, they were strong, because I don't want to play that <laughs> difficult. That's what I thought. That's why it's so amazing that you were able to beat them so easily. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, you're good with a weapon, but how about farm tools? Should I teach you how to work on the farm? Yeah. Since this is an LP, we should just be taught by her. Because it's just so much information for me to explain. Let's start by clearing some weeds off of the field. This looks like a good place. Hiya! Wow, how did she do that so fast? There, now it's a mess. Well, thanks a lot, making more work for us. <laughs> I wanted to clear all of those weeds off of the field. All I do, it, all you need to do is pick up, pick the weeds up. When you see a red arrow above the weeds, press A. It's easy. Okay, my cow, clear the weed. Yeah, clear the field that I fill with weeds. Time still doesn't move. Okay. What I suggest here is pick up as much stuff on the field as you can because time doesn't move. But in this game, items pop up on the fields pretty quickly, so uh, don't strain yourself so much. In this game, you could um, stack items like that. Stack I stack items of the same type. So I'm picking up medicine or herbs, and I have five in my stack. I think I can't count. <laughs> um, the, the stacks uh, go up to nine. You cannot hold more than nine. Because if you hold more than nine, I'll show you what happens. Uh, Uh, in this game, you drop an item, it will disappear. Yeah, if you pick up nine, um, you'll switch it. Oh, I'm putting it in my box sack. I know you guys do not want me to see me do this, so I'm gonna skip this in the recording and I'll pick up as much as I can. Because seeing me pick up random stuff is not fun. Do, 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 do. So much fun. To pick up random stuff off the field. Do, do, do. Dang, this is so much fun picking up random stuff. Do, 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 do. I probably add yeah, this in some kind of weird, random special or something. Do 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 pay 
make up random stuff because it's really fun. Oh my gosh, it's not really fun at all. Do 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 do. Oh, the spring music. So relaxing. It's always in like Harkin Rider games. They always have to feel all a mess when you begin. <sighs> Like, no one keeps, like, keep, takes care of it before you move in the dang place, no? You have to pick it up, pick it up yourself, and then blah, 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 and clean it up for yourself. Like, uh, we live here for free, you don't have to pay rent, and we get to. You know, it might not be too bad to live on a farm if you live in a place for free, and you work, and you get stuff. But then, working every day would be kind of. Okay, we are back! Okay, um... In this game, bamboo shoes cannot be picked up because there's no red arrow above their heads. Or above their heads. Bamboo shoes don't have heads! The only way to get them is... Dang it. You <laughs> cannot get a weapon out. Um, is with a, um... What? Sharp... I tool or something? Like the... Uh, the, 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 the hoe, right? If you could, um, you had to dig the bamboo shoes out. And then you can pick it up. Okay, I have picked up everything besides the rocks and the branches and the bamboo shoots and the huge branches and stuff. And it's up these nine weeds. So I'm going to show you how to pick them up. Yeah. So much fun. Okay, I'm done. Wow. Good job. Now why don't you equip your rusty hoe now? Press L to open the equip e quick equip menu. Next, use the B pad to select the item when you, you want to equip and then press B. Then, just like that, your rusty hoe will be equipped. Go ahead, give it a try. Also, place the weeds you've hold the shipping bin to the shipping bin to ship them. Your yeah, shipping bin is located here. See, look at the huge stack in this wavy wee. So he's like some kind of balancing thing. We just shipped it. If you check the shipping bin. Durr. Okay, L button. See all this stuff I put in. Stop with around my car. Press out open the equipment room. Okay. Yes, yes, Dirk. Okay. I cannot do anything. So, um, to switch. Okay, this is the things. Regular items. These are spells, and these are um, your tools and weapons. So, to change from them, you can use the up and down. And you just change between this one and use the left and right. So, I'll just. Ooh, there's the processor that I took. Okay, press the B. Got it. <laughs> there you go, good job. Now it's time to till the field. T till your field, equip your hoe, then stand on the field of recipe. I want you to I want you to clear the field that you just cleared. I'll be waiting here. Let's not drink it. Yeah, I, never mind. That was a stupid idea, Sunder. Also, you could like go if you press uh press P repeatedly it'll do like more like do it quickly. Cool. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Wow, you really look like a pro! Because I play this already. Once your field is sealed, it's time to sow you the seeds. Here, take this. Turnip seeds. I bet it's turnip seeds. Reseed toy herb seed. No, really? Because. I thought it was. Okay, I thought you usually get turnip seeds because that's the basic seed. Why are you giving us flowers? Oh, yeah, she is the flower girl, kind of. Now, just like you did with your hoe, uh, press L to open the quick. Quick equip menu. Gee, that's hard to say. Select the toy herb seed or press B. The toy herb seed will be equipped. Okay, my car, let's equip some seeds. <laughs> Good job! But you can't just equip the seeds. If you don't sell them, they won't grow. So just like you did with your hope, sound the field and press B. Sell the seeds in the field that you prepared. Okay, my gosh, sell those seeds. <laughs> See, that's up. So, this game is not 3x3, three three, it's just one seed per <laughs> tilled land. Great, you sow the seeds. As you can see, each field can accommodate nine seeds. Yes, yeah, like you can see, it's like there's lines, and so it'll be three by three. But one seed is three by three. Uh, one seed is only one space. Hmm. Now that you sown the seeds, it's time to water them. Now you check up your water pot, just like you did before. Quick press L to open it. Blah blah blah. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Stop making me do things. Okay, we have it. Great, now your old water pot is equipped. Now take a look at the bottom left corner of the top screen. Do you see the water pot icon? Huh? Water pot icon? No, it's right here. You see it? That's the water pot icon. 
It only appears when you equip a wild pot. Great! You can collect water for your water pot from pools of water, for instance. From here! Do do do! Or here! Do do do! Yeah, whatever. I'm making weird sound effects. And it already has weird sound effects. Okay. Go up to one of those pools of water. Press B. Your water pot will be then will, will then be completely filled up. Okay, Micah, fill up your water pot. You think I will go up here to fill my water pot? But no, I'm going to the far one for no apparent reason. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so so weird. Do you see how the empty water pot icon is now filled with water? That means your water pot has been refilled. Do do do. Remember, you need water in your water pot in order to water your crops. No, really. Speaking of which, let's water them now. Face towards the seeds and press B. Okay, Micah, water the seeds. Go on up. And see the red square? Yeah, this makes it easier to know which pot you're watering. Okay, if you're watering somewhere else besides to the land, there's no, there's no water that comes out. And if you try to water a one that's already watered, it won't actually water. So you actually say... Water. Same like in Refrain Frontier. If you mess up in water, you don't waste water. If you mess up in sowing the seeds, you won't waste the seeds. You know? It's so awesome like that. Because, you know, it's hard to align yourself sometimes. Good job! If you water them every day, the flowers will bloom in about two days. You don't have to wait time to wait that long, though, so I prepared some fully grown toy herb. That wasn't there before. <laughs> See, over on that field are three toy herb and six withered dress. <laughs> What's that? You expect there to be nine toy herb? You have to grow nine of them on your own, my cow. I can't do everything for you, you know. What? <laughs> anyway, you might not think it, but withered grass is useless too. That's a new mechanic in this game. Read the sign for more details. You'll see that withered grass isn't so useful after all. Oh, I can't read it right now. I'll have to read it later. Now let's harvest some toy herbs, shall we? You can harvest your crops by using A. Remember how you clear the field of weeds? It's basically like that. Is there, if there's a red air above a toy herb, press A. Okay, Maya, let's harvest some toy herb. This is becoming a really long video. Darn it, I shouldn't have picked those um, weeds. Okay, she said wither grass has its useless too. If the, so where there's wither grass on the ground and you hoe it. Hoe it. Darn it. <laughs> if you hoe it, um, the gra- uh, the, 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 the soil will be a lot more, um, what's it called? Uh, it'll be, like, has higher quality and your crops will go faster, but I'll tell you more of that later. I just wow. Perfect, I knew you could do it. Now, let's collect some lumber. Here, take this. Where did that come from? <laughs> Normally, you have to use an axe on branches or tree stumps to make wood, but we'll skip that part for now. First, pick up the wood and then put it in lumber shed. This is lumber shed area here. Okay, my, my cow, put the wood in your lumber shed. The toy herb you harvest can be put away by pressing X or Y. They make nice presents, and if you need the money, you can sell them too. As you can tell, Shara likes flowers, so. Raven, too. Did you put the wood in lumber shed? Uh, what do you think? <laughs> Perfect. And that's basically all I need to know for farming, Maka. Good job! <laughs> here's, some, here's some seed and a bit of money for you. Free stuff! I love free stuff! Receive toy harp seed and receive 500 gold. Thank you very much. Open the pause menu to be the seeds you got. Just press start to open the pause menu. Press start to open the pause menu. Got it, I'll try it later. Oh, I almost forgot. What? I forgot to explain RP. RP? Yeah, that's very important. On the test screen, there are two bars, HP and RP, in the upper left corner. Break of the fourth wall much? They're, they're right around here. Uh-huh. I don't see anything there. You just can't see them now. Guess we're talking. You'll be able to see them once we're finished talking. I I see. When you use tools, you will use up, use up RP. RP is your rune points, the energy of your body. That's why it's called rune factory, I guess. If you run out of RP, then your HP will go down. HP is your hit points. And if you run out of RP, your HP will go down really quickly. So you gotta be careful when about your RP going, up, uh, going all the way. Because if you fade this game, you won't get a game over, but you will end up 
at the apothecary, and you had to pay money for every time you faint. And the higher level you are, the more money you had to give. give so, yeah, save often, guys. Save often. There are other reasons why you need to save often, but I'll tell you later. When HP runs out, you'll faint. <laughs> Working hard, skip, but don't work so hard that you pass out. Got it. Well, then let's choose a name for your farm now. A name for the farm? I mean, I get to name it? <laughs> yes, of course. This is your home now, after all. Okay, I'll name it. Sharns is the typical name. The default name. I always call it Lucky Farm because I always do. But since... <laughs> am I lazy? Yes, I'm lazy. We'll just leave it as Sharns. There's really no point in naming it differently. Sharns Farm. Do, do you like it? Yes, I do. <laughs> She'll like it no matter what you put in, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, please come by my house later, Micah. I have more to tell you, but I need to set up my store f uh, shop first. Okay, I'll come see you later. Um, where's your house, by the way? Well, if you go down from here, there will be three stores. The middle store is where I live. The flower shop. Typical. There are flowers all around us, so you should be able to tell which house is mine right away. Okay. By the way, I'm not being too overbearing, am I? No, of course not. <laughs> That's good to hear. Well, I'll be going then. Okay, thanks so much for everything. It was my pleasure. Well, uh, you'll excuse me then. And Shara is the, I guess, kind of the default girl. Okay, so I was moving. Okay, let's hit the start button. Uh, da -da -da. We're now level 2. This is your HP, 28. RP, there's 40 now. I'm all healed up after that fight. Crazy. Yeah. And this is my attack, defense, magic attack, magic defense, strength, vitality, and in intelligence? Yeah. Um. I'm holding my watering can and this random things. So I'm just gonna equip my... You could do this to equip things too and... This is the face you'll be holding, the shield... Right hand? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's where you'll be equipping things. Legs, hand, accessory, but I don't have anything for that. I'll ship most of these things. Um, they're also used for gifts too, if you're gonna make friends. I, I'm gonna try to befriend everyone. It's not, it's not very hard to befriend people. I'm just gonna ship some things, so I'll be right back after I ship a bunch of stuff. Oh, one more thing. Uh, if you hit the... was it? The select button, I think? No, it's the R button. No. Yeah, if you press the R button, you'll... Put it, I guess. And if you press the L button, you'll see, um, more things about it. Like, for Red Grass, it heals HP. P by 3 and RP by 3. So it's good. You should keep some antidote herbs because they cure poison. You can still you could get poison earlier in the game. But which is the button that will I just want to scroll. Uh dang it. Oops, now one of that. Dang it. What's the button to be the select button, right? I don't know why it's not working. Wait. Yeah, what was that? Uh, I forgot. I think the select button will actually, um, um, put your items in order. But, apparently I can't do that. I should keep some red. Uh, it's really not how many I have. Anyway, I'll be right back. Oh, one more thing. Ah, sorry. Oh. Shaw also likes weaves. Okay, I'll show you why later when I give her one. Don't ask why she is strange. But I guess a lot of girls are strange in this game. Um, there's actually 11 marriageable girls in this game. And you can only play as a guy. Some of better games just like that. Some of them are better too. Uh, dur okay, what am I doing again? Okay. And if you check your shipping list, you can see what things you shipped. And that I have 0% of my shipping list completed. Great. And lots of different things, blah well, blah, well, okay. I'm done playing with that. Anyway, let's... Whoops, I meant press the table. I mean, there, okay. I'll just... Skill up! And jeez, my RP going down so fast. And Okay, that was stupid. Yeah, I'm not 
Okay, I only have three dressers. So. I don't remember that. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. I'll stop fooling around now. Pretty sure select button, but I'm guessing I'm really dumb. Okay. Actually, you can read this if you want, but you don't have to. And I'll just show it off items. If you draw something important, it will be sent back to you. You should see it show up in your living room within a day or two. It's also be sent back to you if you give it to someone by mistake. If so if you lose something important, go home and see if it's sent back to you yet. What do you want to learn about? It? Contain monsters this game, there's no animal farm animals, but monsters. Anyway, okay, I'll show you if you've been select your GMR piece going down. These are lots of skills. There's actually a walking skill. It's so funny. And it says it raises RP, intelligence, and magic defense. So it's important to level up all these skills. Watery skills, probably from your watery cat. Earth skills. What? Probably from hoeing. This is your party member. I'll get to that another time. This is the people you've known. And their hearts. Or their FP, kind of. See, for Ava Shar, you can marry because they're hearts. So, guys, you can't marry because he's a guy and then he's a, and then there's the monsters. And this is. You can switch to things. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Anyway, this is your house. And I don't know why I'm here for and why am I here and I don't know. Jeez, this is all the stuff I had left in my rucksack, seriously. Okay, this is the trophy room. What is this? The trophy room. I just said it. Can't you hear me? Huh. Oh my gosh, I thought you left. Oh, you found this room. Yeah, what is it? This is the trophy room. When you accomplish such and things, trophies will appear here. When do I- when I do such a things? Like what? You know, I'm not really sure. I guess you'll just have to experience and find out. Really? Okay. This room is also connected to the la Labyrinth World. You can't use it yet, but this turret will take you to the Labyrinth World once you can activate it. You can take on the Labyrinth solo, or friends can join you locally over DS Wireless Play. Not Wi-Fi, though. Sad. Over here is the ranking room. I'll show you your ranking scores and I'll score based on the amount of money you have. I'm at like 666 <laughs> but, uh, during this recording. And my character is my cow, so it's hard. No, which is my. Uh, you compare your scores with those of other players over Nintendo Wi Fi connection. Try to be the best. Yeah, people use sheets, so it's not very accurate. Let's see, what else is there? Well, of course it's accurate, but it's not fair because I worked so hard. And people use cheese to get to number one or whatever. Oh, you can use this book to change the difficulty of combat. If it's easy right now, change to hard. Play around with it and find a difficult that feels right. There's only medium hard, so or normal and hard anyway. Well, that's all I had to tell you about this room. Thanks a lot. I got it. Thank you. I'll see you later. And she walks away. Okay, this is right. I just upgrade the walking spell. The walking skill. Huh? It's resonating with the transform spell. If I knew how to use this transform. I think I could go in here. Get to that another time. And this is the ranking, but since I don't, I can't do Wi-Fi with the emulator, I guess. And, uh, this is to change the difficulty. This is our first trophy, first delivery moment, and never forget the job of earning your first gold from a farm. In my real game, I actually collected everything. Man, it was tiring to complete it. Anyway, I will just go outside. Oh, before I do that, you actually have two spells right off the bat. The teleport spell so useful. Spell that transports the caster. Just head and sing to dungeon and trust your home or your room. I suggest equipping both. Allows transfer to your woolly and human forms? That's strange. Let's try it. I wonder what this is for. Well, maybe I just can't remember. And this is teleport. Okay, teleport and teleport and teleport and teleport. Yeah, that's all awesome. Anyway, let's go to the Nash just slow down and show you the place. Welcome. Oh well, okay. Welcome. Oh, um, before I continue, I'm just gonna stop right here and we'll, uh, have episode 3 next time on Revenge 3. Anyway, uh, sorry about that. I just stopped this video at a random time, but I'm sorry. So, I'll just see you guys next time and I'll repeat myself. Hooray. Okay, bye.